Howdy guys, in today's video we're going to have a quick overview of the cutting direction for your secondary toolbar. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za and we make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise back into the tutorial here. So now, when it comes to the cutting direction and this feature, in my opinion, it's still a little bit buggy. So I'm just going to have a quick run through of what it should do. Hopefully by the time you use it, um, they've updated it and uh, it runs smoother or runs how it should. So the cutting direction also at the moment, it varies depending on if you're going auto nesting versus manually adding things, especially when it comes to circular shapes. Now I'm gonna just quickly add a few shapes so we can uh, get an idea of what's what. So let's start a square. I'm gonna make this one maybe about 300 by 300. Say okay. Then manual quantities, I'm gonna add two of them. Say add and then add this quickly to our plane here or our cutting sheet. Zoom in a bit just so you guys can see what's happening. Now if I had to go to cam and we go to NC, we can see it's cutting it currently clockwise then the next one also clockwise and then um so that's pretty much our cutting direction so now what we can do is if we have a shape selected we can go to the cutting direction little icon i'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see it it's the one next to the no contours or delete contours we've got your change cutting direction now as to the settings, it is pretty much exactly the same as the, um, the leading contours, what you get. So if you're um, not sure how to go about it, just go to the previous on cutting co uh, the leading contours and then you'll quickly see what's what. Now this thing um, by no means is running smoothly in my opinion, it's a little bit buggy. So I'm going to just leave it, this would be the default settings. And then as we can see here under contours, the external we've got clockwise. I'm going to say okay and we can just um, review this again so we can just make sure so we see it's going clockwise and put the speed a little bit higher and then um, let's exit here go back in now let's go to making it counterclockwise so now I'm going to uncheck this as you can see over there and then um, say okay and then let's quickly hit the preview again so NC okay that was way too quick let's go back to we try nine so there we go going counterclockwise and then it's going clockwise so that is working fine which is um kind of what we're expecting so then you can obviously uh, try apply to all shapes as well but um, let's just show you something say so let's say we go out of cam go back in we go nc again and then you'll see now everything is going clockwise again so that's kind of at the moment a bit buggy. Um, I'm not sure if it's like that by design, but uh, I do plan on maybe sending just a mail just to find out. So like I say, by the time you try this video, maybe they've updated it. And uh, so I'm just gonna show you everything that I consider broken. So test it on yours to see if it is working correctly. Okay, so if we go out there, that is the one thing that uh, to keep in mind, I'm just gonna delete these shapes. The other thing which is a bit buggy for me is um, when it comes to circular shapes. So I'm gonna go 200, 100, or let's make it 300 by 200 so we see a bit better. Then the first one I'm gonna order nesting. I'll put one over there. Then, uh, oh, let's make this two, say add. And then I'm gonna just add another part, same thing. Let's make this one maybe, um, let's go about three. 50 by 250 just so we can tell the difference this is going to be for the manual parts make it two add now like i mentioned before let's first go nesting start and we'll leave all the settings the same so we've got our two uh nested files and then right to that we're going to add the manual one so we can see the difference the one that's slightly bigger so now if we're going to go here into our cam and then uh let's zoom in so you can see better and we hit the nc button we can see that the first circle is going counterclockwise second circle clockwise that is the default the way it should be set up 
and then clockwise. And then when we get to the manual one, you'll notice it goes counterclockwise and then counterclockwise. So both the outside and the inside um, internal and external rings are going the same direction. So that's something to keep in mind uh, with an auto nesting versus manual. And then um, if we go back here now, let's say we grab the second one here, we go set the direction and now let's reverse these. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see. So we're going to uncheck that one and check this one. Now it should be going in the exact reverse of the first circle. So now let's quickly preview this. We see we've got it uh, counterclockwise, clockwise. Now it should be the opposite, but it's going counterclockwise, clockwise. So that keeps it exactly the same. So at the moment it is not updating at all, which in my opinion is probably a bit of a bug. So like I said, test all these things when you finally do it just to see if they've updated these features. And the other thing I've found was also obviously with a manual one, you cannot change it. So you just go in counterclockwise with both of them and no changes at all happens. So I would definitely like to see that updated so we can have our cutting direction a little bit more refined. And ideally when you go out of cam and back into cam that it keeps your cutting directions same way it does with your contours where if you've deleted them you go back out and in and it stays deleted so i'll maybe just forward this video on to the developers so they can look into it and then uh, see if they can adjust that but yeah otherwise that is it like i said this is kind of just a brief overview of uh, cutting direction what it's supposed to do and uh, it's a definitely tested by the time you watch this video Otherwise, we head gear to softwaretraining.co.za. You guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request the training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.